so this story is gonna be a bit tragic you know like most of greek mythology so i don't know why i said that but anyway so bellerophon uh he was uh born like a semi-normal dude demigod to somebody probably i don't know i think his dad was poseidon it doesn't matter so anyway he was visiting this kingdom one time and the king is just like oh all right cool let's chill and then the king's wife is just like oh you be looking kind of good so she tried to be like let's bang but Bellerophon was just like nah 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 girl we ain't doing this it's a bit creepy I'm a guest here it would be wrong you know pretty chill dude so the wife is just like oh hell no what do you mean I can't chop his head off and told her husband that he had actually raped her which is a lie because she's a bitch but you know the king was just like oh I can't murder him because uh, there was a rule in ancient Greece that if you murdered a guest, that Zeus would come and murder your ass. The gods consider it very bad to harm a guest. Isn't that right, wise Octavius? We would get a bag of locusts at the very least. So the king's just like, I don't want to die, but I really want to murder this guy. So he told Bellerophon, hey, go and murder the Chimera, which is like this insane lion fire breathing monster thing so Bellerophon was just like okay <laughs> so he went to the temple of Athena he's just like Athena help me out bro so Athena's just like I got you fam and uh, brought him Pegasus you know the big ass flying horse so uh, you know Bellerophon's just like alright cool thanks so uh, he flew on Pegasus and he found the Chimera and he's just like oh you know I'm fine on, big, on this big ass horse so I mean you know let me just shoot arrows at it and then I'll die he began shooting arrows at it but the chimera was just like bruh I'm a fire breathing lion this ain't nothing to me so Bellerophon was just like well crap man so his next idea which is pretty insane and it works he attaches some lead to the end of his spear and he charges at the chimera and the chimera is just like bleh and uh, you know spits fire and uh, you know but the lead that was on his spear right actually went into the chimera's throat you know and uh, it suffocated and died so Bellerophon was just like I did it well damn so you know now he's just like this you know magical you know great hero and everything so he went back to the kingdom you know and the king's just like I'm mad AF so um he put an ambush for, uh, you know, Bellerophon, you know, and Bellerophon's just, like, fighting off everybody, but there's, like, hella guards, you know, so he, like, asks his daddy, you know, uh, Poseidon, just, like, help me out, so Poseidon's just, like, I got you, and flooded the whole freaking kingdom, so everybody started dying, and so uh, the king's just, like, okay, fine, 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 Bellerophon, dude, we chill, we good, all right, you can even, like, marry my daughter, you know, if you want. I'll give you half my stuff, too, you know? Just chill. So, you know, now Bellerophon was just, like, a hero. He just, like, everybody knew him. He, you know, killed that big-ass lion flame monster thing. And now he was bored AF. You know, he still had Pegasus. But, you know, he was, you know, bored. What else is there to do? He's a hero. You know, he killed the big-ass monster. What he's gonna do? So, his bright idea, just, like, to look for some excitement was... Let me take my flying horse and fly all the way up to Mount Olympus so I can meet the gods. So as he's flying up there, Zeus is just like, you dumbass. So he like, um, he sent a fly, stay with me here, to bite uh, Pegasus, you know, and the fly bit Pegasus and Pegasus was just like, ah, what the hell was that? And threw Bellerophon off his back. And then Pegasus was just like, yeah, well, whatever. And, you know, went to Mount Olympus. So, you know, now Zeus has a horse. And uh, Bellerophon, on the other hand, he fell down and he died. And that's the end of his story. So, you know, pride cometh before the fall, I guess. And that's the story. Peace out.